Okay, we're talking about value, which isn't how much something's worth in art, it's how light or dark a color is. So I'm going to start out by making two rectangle shapes, very thin rectangle shapes in pencil. And at first we're going to um, we're going to do a grayscale starting with white and then lightly uh, drawing, applying a little bit of pressure to get a very light gray and then gradually get darker, press a little harder and get darker and darker and darker. Normally when I teach value in the art class, usually we're mixing paint, we're mixing white with a color or black with a color. But because we're not doing that, it's not available now, it's gonna be more implied. We're just going to use more pressure to make the color darker. And as I said, the pencil can be, um, the pencil is gray as a color, but it can also be done as colors, as you'll see. We can do the same with any color. All right, so now I got a pretty good going from light to dark in my grayscale. Now I'm going to try to eliminate some of the lines. I want a nice smooth transition from white to the dark gray. Now I'll do the same thing using red. I'll use a colored pencil. You can use a crayon if, if that's what you have available. Press very lightly, very lightly and color it in and gradually add more pressure. I know it might be hard to see um, on the board, but I'm just adding more pressure as I go. And by the time I get to the end, I'll be pressing as hard as I can to get, to get the darkest red that I can get, see? And now I'll just sort of blend that in and then I have a sim very similar grayscale, which is kind of equal to a tint if I was adding white to this red. Now we can also have show imply value or lightness and darkness with shapes or forms and I can draw this shape to look like a ball or a sphere and I'm going to say over here on the right will be where the light source will be coming from and so that's going to be the brightest part on my ball or sphere and as I dark I lightly go around and around and as I get further away from that spot the drawing would get, be darker and I would apply more pressure. Again, if we were painting, it would just be a darker color of gray. But because we only have pencils, it's the amount of pressure that I put on to make it darker. So I can erase the spot where the, where the highlight would be and then it would, like I said, it will get darker and more of a shadow cast on the other side of the ball or sphere. Now below, we can even make it even darker and then there could be, uh, that's gonna be the backside and it's gonna be darker and and it gets lighter as it gets closer to the light source. And then there'll be a, a shadow cast below it where the ball will be on the, meets the ground. Now I can go ahead and do the same thing quickly with, with a crayon. You can see where the where my 
light source is and where the highlight would be would be the brightest part and then where the shadows would be are going to be darker and this is showing different value of a color. Now this up here would represent because it's going from white to the color that would be re represent what a tint would be if we were mixing white with a with the paint but since we're drawing it's a little bit different now i'm going to i'm going to have it implied that we'll be instead of uh adding black to a color we're going to just we're going to draw over it so i'll go ahead and this will represent what a shade would be now if i color this in fully red and then as we gradually go we add more and more black colored pencil to the drawing. It starts out very much. You're going to get sort of different shades of maroons and dark browns. The more, the more black that's added. And then finally it will get to be a really dark, dark gray into, a, into the black would be the darkest that would go. And we want to show this gradual blending from red to black. And, and again, we would be mixing black to the red and achieving it that way if we were able to use paints. But again, this is just to show you the, the darkness of a color and the range of value. Now I don't want to leave that line in there, so I'm going to I'm going to blend it so that it's more gradual. And that would represent a shade. Okay, as I finish up here, it's going to be your turn to practice creating value, the lightness and darkness of a color.